Thanks for buying Radio Shack's outgoing messages. We're sure you'll enjoy using them as much as we enjoy doing them for you. The voices on this tape have been specially prepared to get you more messages. And now here's how to use them to your best advantage. First, using any standard cassette player, listen to the Radio Shack outgoing messages and then choose one. Notice that three seconds before each voice, there is a cueing chime. The chime indicates that you have three seconds before Radio Shack's outgoing message starts. Then, in a quiet place, record Radio Shack's outgoing message from the cassette player's speaker into the microphone of the answering machine. You can personalize your message in several ways, either by inserting your voice before or after the Radio Shack outgoing messages. This way, people will know that they have reached you and not a wrong number. You can experiment with the distance between the cassette player's speaker and the answering machine's microphone for best results. A distance of three to four inches with a medium volume is recommended. Remember, Radio Shack's outgoing messages will work with all types of answering machines, single cassette or loop, regardless of the make or age of the machine. And your Radio Shack store offers a complete line of accessories for your telephone and your answering machine, including various lengths of endless loops and incoming cassettes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Radio Shack's outgoing messages. Well, I'm not here now. I'm in Philadelphia, enticing small dogs and children into precarious situations. So I'll leave your name, your number, and alcoholic preference. Thank you very much, Anthony. Oh, I'm sorry I can't answer the phone right now. I'm doing a little shopping around. So this device will transmit your message. It's not the message in your life that counts. It's the life in your message. Oh. <coughs> Well, Gracie, what do you think of the new answering machine? Oh, George, it's wonderful, but it doesn't work. It uh, doesn't work. I've talked for hours to that thing, but it never once answered me back. Well, I think it's a very rude machine, George. You've got a point. Uh, say good night, Gracie. Good night, Gracie. And you, leave your message when you hear the beep. Oh, it's so nice of you to call. My friends are detained in the laboratory. But after I'm through with my experiments, if you leave your name and number, I'll have them return your call. Although they might sound different. I'll tell you, I don't get no respect. I've had this machine two years. Not one message. Hey, maybe you'll be the first. Look, leave me a message. I'll give you anything. My wife, the kids, the dog. I'll even throw in the machine. Please. Well, you certainly got a lot of noise. Who gave you this number? Never mind that. I'm not talking to you. And you're not talking to me. This is a machine talking. And for all I know, you may be a kumquat. So wait for the tone and say to Zika White. You may win a hundred dollars. Excuse me, I, I don't mean to bother you here, but I, just one more question. I could, just one more question I gotta ask you. I mean, my wife is a big fan of yours. You know, I'd really appreciate it if you could just leave me your name and number here. Thank you, thank you very much. No, really, I appreciate that. I mean, you're a marvelous person. Thank you. People, people who call, people are the luckiest people in the world. You know why? Because this wonderful machine will record your voice, and I'll call you later. On a clear day, we could talk forever, you know? Good evening. This is your old friend, Alfred. Don't hang up. Leave your name and number, and we'll return your call after this brief interruption. <coughs> You just know it. It's always something. You call a person and you get a machine. I mean, it's absolutely disgusting. A machine that'll record your voice. What's next?